Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children can sit at age. Here on Center Radio's one year anniversary, St. Paddy's Day special. We're going to have a call with our real Irishman. Let's see if this works. Hey, buddy, Jack, doing? can you hear me? Can you hear our special Irish guest? How the hell are you doing, then? All right, we're all clear. Yeah, I disconnected this little box. This little box that was supposed to fucking convert the fucking Skype call earlier. I think it was going to work, and it worked. So, Mr. McDonald, how how you doing on this St. Patrick's Day? Oh, so, not so bad, not so bad. Don't really think it's all that uh, special, though. Don't really do anything today that you don't, don't have to do, do any other day of the week. You know, fucking drink. I need potatoes. So, how many potatoes? And, Actually, uh, I fucking hate potatoes. So, how many potatoes and beer have fucking uh, have you consumed today? How many potatoes? Fucking 12. 12 potatoes? Please tell 12. me. Did, did, was it a, a soup or was you talking about fucking raw? <laughs> fucking raw. God damn, y'all are hardcore Irishmen, aren't you? <laughs> hey, I mean, if you cook them, they're not potatoes anymore. Well, what happens if you cook them? <laughs> well, they become mash. Don't you have to do another process? Don't you have to, like, lash them after you cook them? Well, I mean, you Americans out there, you know, you take them, you fry them. That they ain't fucking potatoes anymore. They fucking chips. And fuck the chips. If you're going for a potato, you're going to go for a fucking potato. Have it raw. Isn't eating raw potatoes what got you guys in this shit and in this country to begin with? No. No, what, what happened there is that we didn't diversify. We only have fucking potatoes in the ground. And that just sopped up all the stuff. And then when the blight came out, took out all the potatoes. And didn't have anything to, like, rely on after that. But the potatoes are good. Potatoes are strong, healthy things. It's just that we didn't have anything else. Uh, well, I agree. I mean, God, they have great source of potassium. I mean, I don't like bananas, so I eat potatoes like theirs, you know, coming out of style. So, you know... I my potassium hey, levels. Hey, now I eat potatoes because I got to. I don't know. I I don't see why anybody would want to actually fucking eat potatoes. Potatoes taste like us. Potatoes suck. And I should know. I fucking eat them. All right, I gotta ask. What do you actually put on your potato? Potato sauce. Potato. All right, you got. Uh, all right, you gotta explain this recipe to me. What is a potato sauce? Well, what's it do? You take a potato, you put it in a blender, you add a bit of salt, and then you put it on your potato. Is that what I call a twice bake? Hi, if you want to call it that. No, no, we do. We call it potato sauce out here. <laughs> All right, so mashed potatoes is like the traditional uh, table sauce for you. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. Because you got to be a match. You fucking cooked. You don't fucking cook potato sauce. So, I'm confused. I've never heard of potato sauce before. What do you, What the hell do you put in potato sauce? Like I said, potatoes. So, so what do you do? Just sh shave a lot You take it and put it in a blender and hit frappe. <laughs> it's frappe potatoes if you really want to be serious. But you let it go in there for the whole day. Obviously, you will take a day to chop that fucking thing down. You get, you, you don't have no liquid, no nothing to fucking pure, puree it. No, you don't dilute fucking potato sauce. Save with salt, cause so you, salt, the salty art. So you, you're basically just fucking puree a potato for twenty four hours. You don't have no liquid, no beer, no Guinness, no fucking squizka. <laughs> just add a little salt. Oh, you have all that. Yeah, well, now you got to make the process entertaining. <laughs> For you or the sauce? <laughs> For me. What's the thing I'm going to waste it on good sauce? Fuck that. It's for me. So My whole thing go down so much easier. Why do you think we're able to eat so much potatoes? I I'm always fucking drunk. I'm drunk right now. Uh, I got to ask, what kind of whiskey are you drinking? I'm drinking fucking Bailey's. Wait, you're drinking Baileys? What kind of fucking pussy are you? I'm drinking Baileys. What the hell? I just made a Jesus Christ. I got the Baileys right there. Well, I don't have Baileys. I got uh, Mick Honeys, which is generic. Hey. 
I was figuring out what fucking And then I watched it out with some Glenn Pillage. Because that's what you do. And take it a lunch spot. You have ice in your stuff. You have ice in your drink right now. No, I drink that fucking shit straight from the bottle. I drop that sh I do an Amen. Irish car bomb. I, I drop that shit Amen. into my Guinness. That's where you go. That's how you do it. So if you are doing it anywhere, I'd be hanging up this court right now. Uh, yeah. But you're doing it right. You answer that right. You answer that question right. All right. Scotch it down fucking water that shit down. I'm not watering my shit down. I put that shit in the Guinness, the fucking, the, the upper class fucking Irish ale. Stout. Hey. If uh, you get beer and you can't take a spoon and stick it in it, let it stay straight vertical. Ain't fucking real beer. So what am I supposed to do? Fucking shove it up my ass like an enema? <laughs> if you want to, that's how we do it here too. How do you think it gets so black? That's the stuff we export to you. Yep. <laughs> we always, oh, we right, so you tell me Irish, you, right? Irish style is just, fucking whisk, is just whisk a diarrhea then. <laughs> hey. Who's that night? All right, Mr. McDonald, I got, I got a quick question. Quick question. Are you Irish? No, yeah, what can I do for you? Are you Irish? No. Only on Sundays and Saturdays. All right, that explains why I'm looking at your uh, little Skype profile and it says fucking you're from fucking Canada. <laughs> what you talking about? I'm from Scotland. Yo, my, ex my fucking future wife is from Scotland. <laughs> I will tell you right now. <laughs> You're not drunk or pissed Good off matter. or trying Good to matter. castrate me. I know you're not Scottish. <laughs> That's not fine. I'm trying to we really want to. We could go for that, but it'll come a little bit later. Mr. McDonald, I really got to ask. Why does your, you tell, my, your Skype profile tell me you're from Canada? Why am I saying? I'll tell you why. Because right now I'm fucking doing some traveling. Oh, you're just traveling. Seeing the sights. Hey. Hey. Decided to add a little maple uh, syrup to your fucking whiskey, huh? <laughs> Gotta try something. I mean, you actually had this stuff. Tastes like us. It's worse than fucking potatoes. You know they get that on cheese. They just take a spot and stick it in cheese and they get maple syrup. Fucking crazy, peeps. Those Canadians. They're fucking nuts. Don't even know how to say it, then I? I don't think anybody understands what the hell you're saying. <laughs> I'm Irish. Nobody understands what the fuck we say. You've been carrying on a conversation. Nobody understands even what we're saying. He doesn't understand what I'm saying. I don't understand what he's saying. It's fucking crazy. No, it's funny because the only person that can understand what you're saying right now <coughs> is Nicola, the actual Irish girl. <laughs> even she's going, what the fuck are you talking about? So I gotta ask. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta ask, are, are you there? Mr. McDonald, I gotta ask, have you ever kissed a blobby stone? <laughs> no, but I had one in a pub once. It's nice. But that would. Actually, a local pub down here. Call the blobby stone. Go over there. Bloody grand. All right, so see now you're talking to a bunch of yanks, mostly yanks, a couple of Irish, well, a couple Scottish. Yanks. You're talking to a bunch of yank. You're talking to a bunch of yanks. So how would how? But how can Roger? Okay, how can I show you running there? Hey, I'm I'm running the most extreme fucking controversial show on fucking internet right now. But I gotta ask. Oh, I gotta ask. Okay. If I see now we're a bunch of yanks. We're to, you're talking to a bunch of yanks. How right, do then. I celebrate St. Patrick's Day properly here? You're doing a might find good job, except for the costume. Except what? for the fucking green. What costume? First and foremost, don't fucking drink green. I ain't if it's green, green. I'm drinking I Killian's Iron Red. The fucking the, the traditional American Irish beer. All right, then. Go for it. And, uh, go way, for yeah, some fucking Guinness. There's a green See shirt. See what the rest of the world fucking drinks. There's a green shirt here, but guess what? I'm wearing a kilt on, uh, underneath. I am literally having a kilt. I am going traditional. My balls Good are fucking crushed between my legs from this thing because I have no support. <laughs> God for you. Well, that's grand. And the rest of us is wearing pants and robbers. What? Robbers? Robbers! What is that? You can't what? go out in the field without some robbers. 
What do you, what, what? So you guys put the rubber on before you go hook up with the girl in the bar? What you talking about? Of course you do. You gotta wear something on my feet, don't you? I think you and me have different definition of the term rubber. <laughs> well, what other time of fucking is in for rubbers, huh? I don't even tell, I don't even take them off when I go to bed. <laughs> you really do follow the principle of safe sex, don't you? Of <laughs> course. Don't want Marmot crawling into that thing. Uh, you know, just going away and knocking boots. When we go and knock boots, we really have the boots on. She does too. She wears the rubbers too. Right, so the girl, so your wife and you wear the rubbers together? Aye. Right in bed. Don't even take them off. That, that, I, I'm pretty sure that's fucking a no-no in the fucking safe sex th category, but it's your own. But I gotta oh, ask, man, what, what, talk. what color is the rubber? Black. Ah, you, you got a black rubber. But there's a wee bit of orange in there, too. So it's tie-dye? What you talking about? I'm talking about the color of your rubber. Hey! The rubbers I wear, they're black. They're black straight the way through. I got another pair, though. They got a bit of, uh, got a bit of orange on them. Okay, all right. Uh, for my own ignorance of Irish <laughs> culture, I, uh, please define rubber to me because I think you and me are having two different conversations. Well, quite possibly. The, the, what they want to put on your foot when you go out into the field. So a rubber is a thing you put on your feet when you go outside. Hey, when it's wet. Are we talking so about don't boots? Hey. Okay, Fucking you and me were completely on a different level there. <laughs> what you were talking about then? Uh, I, w I was talking about that thing, you know, you use when you hook up with a girl in a bar and you're not quite confident in her. <laughs> Background checks. Yeah, you can call it that. Uh, I'm talking about that, uh, you know, that little circle thing and, you know... You know, your Irish is probably about the size of a penny. <laughs> kind of plastic, you know, you wrap it around before you know you... Oh, uh, you're you... talking about those things. But they yeah. don't make them out of rubber up here. They're out of sheep's stomach. I thought they outlawed those. Not up here. God damn it, I gotta move to Ireland. Fuck it, god damn it, I get to use fucking sheepskin rubbers. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a bit of an outside, though. Yeah, what's with the outside? Fucking stink. What's a stink like? Funny as expect they think. Have you ever taken like a sausage that's it out in the sun for a while? Stink like that. And I thought it would stink like Scotland. Well you know. It that, that is the smell of Scotland. <laughs> Well, Miss Mr. McDonald, Mr. McDonald, it's good to have you on. It's good to have you on. It's good. like I said, it's always good to have traditional Irish people right on. Right 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 hey, it's bloody grand. So I gotta ask before before I have to end this again. Back hey. to my song. To the, back to the Irish music. By the words. All right then. See. What's that then? I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm saying I got to get back to my music. I got in this segment. So, uh, final words. Well, get fucking drunk. That's kind of the And key. don't eat fucking potatoes. They suck. <laughs> That's kind of the key of the night. <laughs> hey. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. McDonald, also known as the Trench Code Anti Critic. You can find him on great sites, as you can find him on great sites, and also Compliance Charlie and uh, the Project Million Entertainment. Th thanks, Brett, for doing this. Kick it's complacent, Charlie. Just, just saying. Uh, yeah, compliance, complacent, whatever. Else. Nobody can understand a word we're saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Brett, for joining us. <laughs> no worries. Have a good one, eh? All right. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> had to go all out. Had to go all out. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, let's get this party keep going. Geekasm is going well. We're going to have uh, stupid state laws coming up at the top of the hour. So here's a little uh, Coney Brothers, Irishman inventor rock and roll, here on St. Patrick's Day episode of Center Radio. <laughs> 